Hello and welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. In today's installation video, we'll be installing a rear folding seat kit on a Yamaha G16. Now the seat kit we carry does fit models G14, G16, G19, and G22. For our first step, we'll need to remove the seat backs. So this is using a 12 millimeter socket. Before moving on to the next step, we'll need to find something around the house, like a broom or a mop, to support the top while we remove the top supports. For the next step, we'll take 13 millimeter wrench and socket and remove the top supports from the bag attachment. Then we'll do the same to the other side. Once you've removed all four bolts, you'll want to save the hardware so you'll be reusing it later on in the video. Then it's safe to remove the sweater basket. Our next step, we're going to need to remove the access panel. For this next step, we removed the seat just so you could see where we're, which bolts we're taking out. But they're the two bolts right here that are holding the, the bag attachment supports to the frame of the golf cart. This requires the use of a 12 millimeter socket. So we'll remove these on both sides. Once we've got the four bolts removed, we're going to want to save them because we'll need them in the next step. But for now, we're going to need to remove the bag attachment, which just slides right out, just like that. For our next step, we'll grab one of the trees that comes in the kit. They're both identical, so it doesn't matter which one you grab. You just want to slide it through the slot, make sure that your rubber pieces are still there, and slide it right down into the hole. Do the same to the other side. Once we've got the trees in place, next step is just to put the bolts that we took out in the same spot. Alright, once we've got the bolts hand tightened for the uh, trees there, our next step will just be to grab the top supports and run the bolts directly through the top side. Now you'll reuse the ones that you took off earlier in the video. And one thing I want to point out about these top supports, this is off of a G16 and the hole's not dr drilled here for the second top support or for the second hole. Um, the hole is drilled for a G19 and if you have a G22, it mounts up right here. So what I'm getting at is when you tighten all the bolts down at the end of all your installation, what you're going to want to do is drill a hole through here so that you can put that second bolt in. For our next step, We'll need to remove these 10 millimeter bolts found here in the bag well. Our next step, we're going to grab our down supports and the 3 inch stainless steel bolts provided in the kit. You will, however, have to reuse the washers that you used when you took out these bolts. So we'll take that washer, throw it through there, put the bolt back down. And these down supports are going to point outwards. We'll do the same to the other side. For our next step, what I've done already is I've set out the one inch bolts, the washers, and the nuts in the bag well here to make it easier to access whenever I'm putting this seat frame on. So what we're going to do is lift it up. Just rest it on the rear fender like that. Grab one of those bolts. Put it through the hole. Put the nut on the other side. And do the same to this side. And then we'll grab our down support. So you want to make sure that the down support is underneath this railing here to where it's resting on this piece of angle iron almost. Then we'll grab our one inch bolt, run it through, put the nut on the other side. For our next step, we're going to take our one and a quarter inch bolts and a washer and put the arm rails lined up with the holes. Put the nut in place. Do the same to the front where you might need to use some force 
and get it in that hole. Then it'll pop in like that and run the bolt through. Do the same to the other side. Our next step, what we're going to do is grab the footrest here and the two and a half inch bolts, run it through the arm rails, through the holes there, then put a nut on the back side. We'll do the same to this side over here. All these footrests are universal, so you need to make sure that you're putting the footrest brackets in the correct hole. For the Yamaha models, it'll be the second hole from inward. So it'll be the one, two. So this hole is the hole we'll use. And what you'll do is you're going to wrap this piece, this angled piece, around the back side of the one inch square tubing. We're going to need to fold this down in order to do so. So we'll fold it down. We'll grab our bolt, run it through the footrest first. Then through the angle bracket and put a nut on this end. Once we have the footrest brackets installed, all you'll need to do is where the down supports are going down, these bolts right here, you're going to tie in these footrest brackets to those bolts. So we'll do that for you right now. So you'll have to remove the nut that you installed earlier. Put the footrest bracket up to the bolt. Then put the nut and the washer on the back side. Might have to lay underneath here to do this. So this is that bolt that we're talking about. So what we'll do is we'll take the nut off, drop the washer, and flip up the footrest bracket. Then we'll put the washer and the nut back on. we're going to install the seat back to the trees themselves. This is what sets our seat kit apart from all the other competition. The molded vinyl. It's fabricated to fit and match exactly to the front part of your cart. So what we have here is a 10 millimeter bolt. We'll run these through the holes. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Alright, once we got the rear seat back on, next step just to reinstall the front. Do the same to the driver's side. For the next to last step, what we're going to do is grab our one inch bolts. We're going to set our deck on the frame itself. And you'll see that there's a plastic washer that comes in the kit. This washer is going to need to rest in between the flip deck in the frame itself. So we're going to put our bolt through, put our bolt through our washer, and then through the deck, and then put a nut on the inside. We're one quick step away from finishing up the install of this Yamaha G16 rear seat kit. We're just going to walk around the entire cart, tighten up all the hardware, and then enjoy our new seat kit. The feature that we have is we put these little rubber snubbers here on the angle of the, uh, the rear folding deck, which allows for a nice silent ride when you're using it over rocky terrain. Another feature of our seat is a 360 degree angle iron that goes around the entire bed itself. This will allow for items like a cooler not to slide off when they're traveling. Now of course you might need to strap this thing down, but it does give you some extra security. Not only does this kit come in a lightweight aluminum finish, like the one we installed here, but we also got a lesser expensive model that uses a high density polypropylene plastic. Still has all the durability, just not the look as the diamond plate one. One of the other features of our rear seat kit is the thickness of the cushion on the rear. Now what you see here is we're a little bit over three quarters of an inch, almost four inches, which almost makes for a more comfortable ride on the back of your cart than the front of your cart. So, you might be looking for a chauffeur to take you around. We've already touched on these earlier in the video, but as you can see, we've got pre-drilled holes here for a grab bar if you want to light it at a later date, 
or purchase it with your seat kit right away. The last feature of this seat kit is the strength and durability. It's unlike any other kit I've ever seen on the market, and that's the reason we choose to sell it. As you can see, I can put my entire weight on the lip of this seat kit, and it doesn't even bend. Uh, these kits are made in the USA, so the quality is second to none. And this concludes our install and our demonstration process of this American-made rear seat kit.